That's right. Where? Yeah. You know, I tried the whole one week thing. This stuff. Not a lot of fun to make. But you get this. So happy. Finally. Finally do silly things. Like a lot of the weird stuff we kind of got to do. They're falling just as fast as this went. And there's my furnace just kicked in. Yep, finally have. Finally have. That's slow as hell. Finally have red steel. And with red steel, we get a bucket. It's good, because now we can plot farms whenever we want to plop them. As case in point, this really, really vanilla reed farm. Why do I have this? Well, let's see if we can have this hole in the wall right here. All of this stuff. I kind of intended to um, record some of this, but I realized that's not going to make very good video. There are far more interesting people out there doing this stuff than I. And right now, this was, <laughs> this was to fulfill one thing. Okay, all of this, the giant pile of iron and all that. All of this, just so I can get biodiesel. Not for a biodiesel generator, thank you, because I don't know if that thing just runs and runs and runs until it runs out of diesel, or if it uh, shuts itself off when it's done. Oh yeah, moved, uh, moved these guys in here. We have all the creosote we'll never need. This is what I wanted. Isn't that beautiful? I didn't know it would render on the desk, which I thought was kind of cool. Reach in here. As you see, I've played with it a bit just to make sure it worked. Got a gas tank and that thing. And it just kind of sits there and runs. Doesn't do squat on dirt, which I kind of expected it not to. But it does. Uh, I got. I know where to try this out. Just give me one second. All right, we're not terribly far from home. We're in some blocks. That's where I've been getting a bunch of my copper from lately. Now this guy, you can see the screen there. And I don't know why the drill thing on the side decided to change color. But, did it and pop. Isn't that awesome? 3x3. Three three. You know I went a little dumb with it. Just see how far down that went. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is a little collapse there. Oh, it's this, uh, this cobblestone falling over because it's not supported on all sides. Uh, let me turn that down a bit. This has uh, got to be... Just the fastest way to mine anything in this pack so far. Uh, <laughs> you just sit here and hold the button down. And hopefully not find a cave. I hope we're not dropping too much. Where are we at so far? We're at uh, three stacks of 16 already. All we did was hold the button down. This is... Well, technically speaking, this was one of the things I wanted to play with all along. Because it just destroys the world. And I love tools that let me do that. So much fun. Uh, can I get six more here real fast? Uh, let's see. Badunk. Badunk. Just because it's a lot easier to count this stuff. Four more. There's one and... What? Short one? Well, not. Give me. Thank you. Meet you back at the base. So I made this thing. I wasn't sure how to fill it up. Uh, I'm not sure engineering... I'm not sure immersive engineering even has any... Immersive... Yeah, nothing else like a tank. So I wasn't entirely sure how I was going to fill it. But thankfully, uh, you just... Put them here, and it's full. Oh, we can 
We can take the gas out of it too. That's cool. Oop. That's kind of neat. I didn't know that part of it. It is useless on dirt. And I mean useless. <laughs> Not so good on dirt. Awesome on stone. Worthless on anything else. Yeah, I broke the pumpkin about as fast as punching it would. I don't want to try it on my buildings. A lot of these things are... Some of these things are... Uh, they're been hit by a chisel. And if I hit them, they break and I don't get them back. And apparently it does damage too. The thing is i got to kill you guys all eventually here. Let's, uh, let's get in here. And you. You lived. It... Oh, I don't, I don't have any of the damage stuff on it. That's why. What are you dumb things doing? You know, I came in here one time. They were all bunched up in one corner right here. They're all bunched up in one corner and then just pouring out. Just choo, choo. It was weird and scary. And I didn't record it because it was... Uh, okay, I need... You guys need to get lost. No, you don't get to live outside. I got a pig floating around here already. They gave me two... Hey, that's nothing. Bleh. Uh, here. I don't know. Brian that. I do have to kill all of them. The problem is I don't have a way to anywhere to store them properly yet. Uh, I thought about building a food storage area. If I get it to load in, I'm gonna come over here. They uh, food storage wants darkness and altitude. If you come over here, there's a big old mountain. Where is it? Should load in. Yeah, way up there. Which admittedly isn't that high. But the other option is to build a great big tower to build height. Which is uh, another hundred blocks. That thing there is ugly enough as it is. And I'm going to be replacing it. Because, frankly... Oh yeah, all my all my fruits come and do because I sat there and did a whole lot of nothing. Most of it's just gonna spoil on the trees. I don't have I don't have storage space for it right now. I've got buckets and buckets. I've got barrels and barrels of oranges and bananas. And as long as I can grab a few things out of there, right? Put a few. A little bit of food here. Run over, make a sandwich on that guy. We're okay. Got started on the bees. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm so used to doing bees. The unfortunate part is that it just because it. How to put it? Part of the hardcore quest stuff. Whoops, give me that back. A bunch of the hardcore quest stuff wants bees, but. We've only got just basic forestry, right? We've got a bunch of the alveary parts. Uh, we can make apiaries to put grains in. Uh, can't make any of the farm blocks. And you're apparently able to make a bunch of these uh, trees? These saplings? I don't know how. I think it might have something to do with, with HQM. But as it stands, because I don't have HQM enabled, I might not even have my book anymore that I think about it. Uh, nope, and nope, and nope. I've probably gone and lost the book. Because I don't have HQM enabled, and it's because I die a lot. I won't... I don't have a reason to use bees. Like there's... You know... 
there's there's this many this many things. There's a few other ones. You can get fiendish. You can get uh, that's fiendish. Stringy is industrious. Dripping comb is freaking imperial, right? No. Nope. What's that? Taking queen. Yeah, and it's, it's like pitch blend and stuff gets you stuff. Like I if it's an ender queen ender bees need the dragon egg, which I'm not gonna I can't get. Uh Marshy Queens want it doesn't want mushrooms or vines? No, vines was something else. Uh, modest, yeah. <laughs> Wants cactus. Slight problem. Where's my cactus? I have a cactus around here somewhere. Nope, wrong one. Yeah, this is a bunch of junk I went and got. Cactus, there we are. Cactus. Can't plant on dirt. Sand. Can't plant on sand. Can you hear me clicking? Probably can't. Here. Yep. Not quite sure how they goofed on that one. I haven't asked yet, though, so... There's probably some simple logical explanation that I haven't figured out yet. I don't remember... I could have swore... That wintry queens wanted. What do you want for? I don't even get a an option out of you. I could have swore they wanted flowers. Yeah, see, they'll give me what's cactus, mushrooms. You can't plant. Jungle. I want vines. I don't have vines yet. Sugar, I can. It's actually kind of cool. I, I have no problem making steadfast ones. But then it's. Like, I don't think these guys make anything. Like, these guys are going to make simmering. That'll make simmering. Uh, little austere. Oh, dang it. What did austere used to make? It's been a while since I've played with bees. Um. Doesn't tell me. I'd have to build a friggin' hmm. I need to build a carpenter so I can build a bealizer. I have to build a centrifuge so I can get honey. Not sure I want to do that because by the looks of it, none of the comb I want. Although it might be just because I can't get it yet. I don't know. Right? But. Stringy, frozen, dripping, parched. Like you get, you get some some honey and some beeswax. Neither which terribly useful for us. But just there's not really a lot of reason for bees in this one. Like yes, I know it's 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 hardcore quest, but they're just not uh, it's the, the power requirements. And oh, here, hang on. You're going to love this. That's why all those chickens have to die. That's why every last one of them needs to die a lot. Unfortunately, I need somewhere to put them all. I need food. It's made my breath bad. I don't have I don't have room to store all the food. I'd like to you use the uh it's a chest for mechanism, which we're going to get to eventually. Uh, preferably sooner rather than later. Right here, this guy. Nope, that's a lie. That one. The refrigerated chest. Black steel we got, red steel, blue steel we can make. It's no problem. This thing. Refined obsidian dust. Okay, that's no problem. This thing. 
<sighs> if we need to do that, we need to go through pneumaticraft, which means I need to blow up perfectly good iron just to make diamonds out of coal, which I don't have any more of right now because I went and made coal coke. Yeah, so if, <laughs> if I did that now, we might have another episode by December. I will pick at it because I want that chest because it looks like it's going to be the only way to do long-term storage for grains. Like you can you can pickle fruits, you can pickle vegetables, you can pickle meat. Whoops. You can't pickle grains. You can't you just you can't. You're not allowed, the thing doesn't let you. Ooh, onions are up. These guys seem to produce an awful lot. So we got how many onions are we getting here? So we got one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight onions. It gave us that gave us a lot of onion. That might actually be more profitable than the uh, might actually be more profitable than the cabbage. Now that I think about it, I didn't have a. Oh, I'm growing these just because I always want need more seeds, right? This is Minecraft. There's no such thing as enough of anything. But yeah, that might actually be uh, faster. Might actually, nah, come on, words. Might be more profitable than lettuce or cabbage when it comes to uh, sheer weight for amount of food we get. Although it could be because uh, my agriculture is up so high and maybe I'm getting more. Not sure, I haven't read that part of the wiki yet. But I have other things to do first. And that is that this, so this setup is kind of depressing, actually. Uh, I can't produce enough. I, eh. I'm not producing anywhere near enough reeds to properly get into biodiesel. And like I said, grant you biodiesel I wanted for this. Just for that. Anything else, if we want to build an excavator, uh, we're, we're going to power it with stuff like this. Energy cubes. But first we need to make power for energy cubes. So what I want, now that I can make, now that I can make uh, water, we're going to try these guys out. Water wheels. Uh, let's, he's kind of big. About that big. <laughs> it's kind of large. And uh, <laughs> kind of takes up a lot of space. And I don't want to put it outside, because that's already ugly enough. That is a viciously ugly thing, and I think I want to tear it down. Uh, the thing with these guys... Uh, tell you what, let me... Let me hop into creative here, and I'll show you. Okay, here in creative... You've seen this on Direwolf stuff already. I don't really need me to show you this. But this is how much real estate one of these things takes up. It's kind of a uh, kind of a lot. You can stick that many to a side. So I get one here. And it also counts the uh da -da 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 -da. What it wants is water flowing across all sides. I'm doing a terrible job of this. The water flows here, around the corners, back down again. You are stuck on that block. Right, so if we manage to block this all up so it goes all the way around, we'll get a fair amount of power out of it, and constant power at that. See that's going up pretty fast. Uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem to rig up something like this. I've already got the uh, in my regular world. I've already got the water wheels. I've got the connect dynos ready to go. 
what I need is a place to put it. And we're going to put it under all of this. Because that way I won't have to sit here and stare at what... Oh, I, first off, I won't have to try to build what looks like a hydroelectric dam. There's just nowhere to put it. I just, we're not going to... We're, we're not going to, like, build a mountain over here somewhere and try to make it look like it was supposed to be there, which I would have if, if I were up in the mountains already. If I had built in mountains instead of a plains, I'd do that because I think it would look cool. But we don't have that ability right here. Where did my ladder go? So I'm going to wind up having to drill a gigantic hole under all of this just to put that stuff in. And then what I think I'm going to do right now, this is all topped off with smooth basalt because it's uh, Okay, I was worried that something bad was going to happen there. It's topped off with smooth basalt right now because it's it's not a gravity-affected block. Like if I tried to put dirt on top of this, which I'm not going to do now, if you put it here, it'll just fall straight through that pipe. And each section of this pipe counts as its own like little bitty inventory. And I'll lose that. Not that it really matters. You can see I got a lot of plant oil and I got a lot of seeds. We're yeah, we're we're doing fine on that. The problem is building an automated reed farm, which is going to be vanilla. I'm I'm sure there's a way to do it with other mods. I can't figure it out. I've seen on Reddit someone using drones from Nematicraft. If you haven't noticed, we haven't done anything in Nematicraft yet. Ugh. Yeah, so it's going to be your standard vanilla reed farm, which I'll probably incorporate in the walls down there, because it's just going to be pistons pushing reeds out. That's going to be a bunch more iron gone. But if if it produces enough, then I'll build a diesel generator. Uh, not really sure I want to. Like, we're going to need to keep biodiesel for things. Like, definitely to keep us in, in mining power. Uh, the diesel generator cranks out uh, 4,096 RF per tick. So when it comes time for charging stuff like this, which we're going to need to power an excavator, that might be the way we do it. We'll just flip the... throw a lever on it, flip it on and off when we need it. Because if one thing, it's one thing that this game does, it it's like here you develop a new way to gather resources, and this opens up new ways for you to spend resources. <laughs> oh man, that kind of cleaned up the wood pile. I still want to build an actual uh, lumber yard though, just because I like the way the wood looks, or the stuff like that looks. I'm sure I can think of something. I'll find something. I'll make it look good. I'll probably put it outside out there. This place is going to clutter up. Um, not quite sure with what yet. I still haven't figured out what all my house is going to be either. And then it's going to be from that project on to the next, which I'm not even sure is going to be yet. We've got water, so we can make we can make a mob farm, but really to what end? Like, you're not doing much with spider eyes. What do you do with spider eyes? You make fruit in spider eyes. With a hundred different plants. No, you can't brew anything. You can make etching acid for... for pneumatic craft stuff. Same thing with rotten flesh. Which has... More pneumatic craft. Yeah, blood stained blocks are nice. Nether wart. I don't know what you do with nether wart. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can't do that. We do have the option of. Uh, where is it here? 
da, da, da. Just be here soon. We can get quarried stone. Of course, we need smooth stuff to get it. Or turn bricks into quarried stone. Because quarried stone is kind of nice. Unfortunately, like we've already have, we've already figured out that we're not going with black and white in this one. Uh, we can paint railcraft platforms. I don't know why. Why does one get a six? One gets four. Wrought iron, and then everything else is. Oh, that's bronze. That's why. Yeah, we don't use. We would only use that kind of stuff if we were building a big long bridge somewhere. Which we may wind up having to do. Just because things are kind of getting further and further away. Like, to get resources, we have to travel further and further. The Prospector's pick is okay, but eh, <laughs> it's not as helpful as you might think. We'll think of something out. We'll think of something. Hopefully my next episode will be more interesting. Uh, it damn well better be, because for some reason I picked up a couple of subscribers. No idea what I did right. <laughs> but I guess we should probably have something worthwhile for them to watch. And hopefully I don't mess up the sound editing on this one either. I'll see you guys later.